Hey guys, it's TJS here, just doing another updated video. I had a few questions in my inbox the other day uh, regarding some of the uh, additional gear on top of my duty belt. And as you see, it's pretty much still the same. Uh, the two and a half inch or two and a quarter inch uh, Bianchi Act mold uh, nylon duty belt with, uh, uh, I think this is the two ounce uh, Fox pepper spray. My Smith & Wesson M&P 40 inside a level three Safari Land holster. Behind I have an ASP baton inside of an ASP uh, rotating scabbard. Two closed top cuff cases. I switched from uh, open top to the closed top. Uh, still the same uh, handcuffs. The model uh, 700 and the model 801 uh, handcuffs. I uh, threw back the, uh, the medical glove pouch. I had an incident a little while back where didn't exactly have them on me. I had to go all the way back to the vehicle to get rubber gloves. So... Then I have a, uh, I think this is the Stryon, yes, uh, flashlight, and then my two magazines. I don't have the taser on here yet, I apologize, I know I had kind of promised uh, I'd have it by now, but I don't. Uh, the uh, only other new things that I got is just a, uh, a C uh, cell battery uh, carrier for my flashlight that I usually keep in my bag. It's on the charger at the moment. And uh, I've had this for a while, but this holds the keys. Uh, you know, just a little Zach tool to uh, open the handcuffs, keep your fingers at a safe distance, uh, whether they have blood, feces, urine, anything like that. And, yeah, that just kind of... And then a various uh, different kinds of keepers. I use different keepers for different things. Uh, an important thing that I think is... Uh, Overlooked a lot of times is the type of footwear. I wear the 511 boots. These uh, are zip up along the side, so all I have to do is tie them once. They've seen some, uh, well, they've had a few miles put on them, I'll put it that way. Um, thing I like most about them is right here, is they got a little pocket, whether you want to carry an extra handcuff key or, you know, magazine or something, knife, whatever, you know, you can do it. And uh, these have lasted me about two and a half, almost three years. I'm about to get a new pair. So they're about $120 um, anywhere you go that sells the 511 type. So uh, they're not. these ones are not the steel toe. Uh, I have another pair that are steel toe. I have to kind of switch over to those. So anyhow, and then I carry a duty bag. And on it, well, I just got, you know, my name and all that other stuff. Uh, I was in the military for a while got a PT belt or a reflective belt uh, just in case I have to direct traffic or anything on any kind of property and by the way I'm gonna go ahead and outline again I'm a security officer not a police officer and uh, you know I keep a hat with me just in case you know just a black hat but I'll go ahead and dive into the uh, to the bag here I've got some uh, paracord on here 550 cord whatever you want to call it uh, my sunglasses uh, never know when you'll need it I used to wear it on my wrist you know, kind of fashion thing, but whatever. Don't wear it anymore. Just keep it on here. Uh, on this side, just keep boot polish. Always want to try and look nice. And uh, a lint roller. Hair gets on you uh, from other people's apartments, residents, whatever. I um, also have my company ID on here. And uh, that's about it. But, yeah, it's a pretty big size uh, compartment here. Zip shut. And, uh, yeah, so, and on the inside, well, go ahead and go to the top. Um, it's got a uh, compartment here. You can uh, keep, you know, different kinds of ink pens. Uh, and here I've just got a flash drive. And uh, keep some notebooks inside here. Uh, all weather purpose type, sticky notes. Uh, and, uh, sorry, let me see if I can get in here real quick but uh... that's trash but yeah this side compartment I keep a uh, power inverter and uh... keep some double-a batteries in that I'm not having any good luck with this uh... holding on to this camera um, but just another power type inverter uh... converts three prong into two prong and uh, some batteries inside that compartment. I have to go over here to this other side. And uh, in this compartment, I just keep various types of extra ink pens. You never know when uh, 
sorry, when somebody's going to just take off with one of your pens, highlighter, uh, whatever, Sharpies. Uh, and then the inside, it's got three separate compartments. Uh, the biggest one back here, keep my notebooks, uh, property maps, write-up forms, uh, whether it be for trespass or anything else. Um, well, there we go. Extra notepads, uh, obviously if, it, if you want to document anything. Uh, vehicle issues, employee issues. Um, business cards with our uh, company name on it. Try and keep that out of there, you've already seen it, whatever. Uh, again, more Sharpies, ink pens, notepad. Just a good binder to keep, something hard to write on. Same thing as this, it's just uh, all duty clipboard, toe tags, and uh, that's about it. And then inside, well, as police officers have uh, a binder to keep their forms in, I do something similar. Inside here, uh, got my own business cards in here, emergency contact numbers, uh, property maps, uh, every type of property that we do, and then again, the trespass forms and that. I keep uh, some form of evidence bag on me. They're just small uh, little bags. You know, whether uh, somebody's got drugs on them or whatever, um, well, we try to keep those uh, separate so we don't tamper with any kind of evidence or anything, but just in case we've got pills, narcotics, anything like that before the police arrive, and if it is utmost importance that we do touch them and, uh, and move them or whatever, we put them inside these little bags, and uh, we've got little tags to stick on these as well. Um, now, if it's any kind of uh, lost or stolen property, we put inside of these as well, and they can recover them at the uh, at a property office. I like to keep body spray on me. Uh, got different kinds of uh, rain ponchos just in case you never know. Deodorants, uh, different kinds of knives. And this is one of my favorites. It's the uh, Smith and Wesson SWAT knife. It's uh, spring assisted. The spring uh, back here had broken after about seven years. I used it in the army as well. Uh, probably the best knife that I've ever used and anymore all I got to do is just pull down on here and uh, it's a very good knife I would definitely recommend any kind of uh, Smith & Wesson knife and then I've got a uh, just a little Gerber knife this one uh, well pretty much used uh, when I don't want to use the other one I keep one more on me and it's in my pocket uh, on my uniform and that but Inside here, I like to keep my uh, my chargers for my flashlights. This one goes to the Stryon. I've got my uh, Stinger one plugged in. I keep a, uh, a wool cap. Two different types of gloves. One more for the winter. So that way, uh, again, you know your fingers are protected from the elements. And uh, it's nothing special about these. They're not puncture proof, nothing like that. Uh, just some sort of barrier to keep between you and a, and a suspect. And those are 511. They make some pretty good gloves. <clears throat> These I uh, just inserted a liner into to kind of keep my hands a little warmer when I'm out of the vehicle. And then I've got some summer type gloves. These ones are uh, puncture proof. Well, repellent I guess you could say. Uh, they've got a padded knuckle. Nothing special about them. Again, just a barrier. And uh, tend to wear these between spring and fall, spring, summer, and fall, if I'm not using my regular rubber gloves. And, uh, sorry about that. Keep just a small backup flashlight in here. It's nothing special. It's just a, a mini mag light. And I keep that in a holder. My shoulder mic, and then a badge holder if I uh, choose to use that. I keep uh, business cards, stapler, extra notepads, Caution tape, and uh, you might ask why I carry caution tape. Uh, anytime if uh, if I'm at an industrial area and uh, caution tape is falling down or whatever, or for instance if we have a flooded area on a property, uh, you tend to caution it off and people don't go that way. Whiteout is one of the things that I think uh, just about every security officer or police officer carries on them or in their bag. You don't use it a whole lot, but when you need to, you need to. And uh, just a wall cell phone charger. Uh, again, different types of ink pens, ready use. 
You could also stick a sports bottle in here, a Gatorade bottle, whatever you want to. Uh, this is just another extra compartment if you uh, want to carry a secondary weapon and you want to leave it in your vehicle. Uh, as far as a smaller pistol, uh, those are awesome. For that, and then again, another pouch to maybe stick your uh, Gatorade bottles and that into. Now, uh, I also have in one of these compartments, I throw my camera in there in a little case. Uh, aside from that, it goes over to this. It's just a military bag. I uh, kind of converted it over to a first aid bag. There's not a whole lot in here. I'm only first aid certified, and uh, through the military, it'd be combat lifesaver. Uh, I carry hand sanitizer always, different types of gauze. Uh, carry aspirin for myself, hand warmers, and side uh, compartments. God forbid, if anybody, sorry, I'll see if I can set this up a little better, so that way I'm not moving it around on you. But uh, side compartment, I like to keep a tourniquet, uh, pretty much just for myself. Uh, something I I kept with me from the army. If I uh, get shot, I can just cut blood flow off to that area, especially if I think I hit an artery or somebody hit an artery or something like that. It'll save lives. Carry more gauze over here. Uh, just ace bandages. And then in the main compartment, I used to carry cold packs. Ran out of those. But I carry trauma tape, a CPR face mask. Uh, iodine and alcohol wipes, a big box of rubber gloves, never have too many of those, uh, more gauze, band-aids, pretty much anything and everything you think you'll need, quick clot, uh, bandages, in case anybody does happen to get shot or stabbed, anything like that, I can uh, at least run to their aid for for whatever. I keep this in the back seat or the trunk of my vehicle. I have every compartment uh, labeled. Ice packs, gauze, band-aids, and rubber gloves. Uh, down to this one. This one's really probably the only one that's not labeled. On the side here, rolled gauze and tourniquets, iodine alcohol pads, first, first aid CPR mask, and then over here, ace bandages. Something that I would highly recommend if you're in the security or law enforcement uh, field if you don't already carry it. And I know it carries a lot of liability, but at the same time, it's worth it if uh, you're saving somebody's life. You, especially when you're carrying all of this extra stuff. You never know when, uh, you know, you, you end up shooting somebody, and the next thing you know, you're saving their life. Uh, anyways, as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, uh, go ahead and hit me up. Alright, thanks a lot, guys.